Greetings, everyone. My name is Rita Alvarez, and this is Catherine Fitzgerald. We are Sunflower Project US, and we're also lead museum educators at the Smart Museum of Art. We're here today to talk about organic mammoth sunflowers. Our program with our organic mammoth sunflowers includes beauty, purpose, and art. Well, this is one of our sunflowers. It's probably about six to eight inches tall, and it's going to get 15 to 20 feet tall in the end. If you put a whole bunch of these sunflowers together, then they would help clear the environment. As you can see behind this sunflower, there's an automobile going by, and cars, automobiles, create a lot of pollution. Here you'll see an or several organic mammoth sunflowers growing in front of our home. These aren't quite finished yet, say so, because these will prob probably get to be 18 to 20 feet tall. You'll also see a smaller sunflower right at the front. And that's not one of our sunflowers. Well, it kind of is one of our sunflowers because it came from our bird feeder. So what happens is sometimes the birds go and they get seeds and they may drop a seed or two and we'll get these rogue sunflowers. So sunflowers will not come up every year on their own. We need to plant them. Although sometimes they do come back if the birds pick them up and scatter them around. So sunflowers, these particular sunflowers are known as annuals, which means that they have to be replanted each year. This beauty is at least 18 to 20 feet tall. As you can see, it's almost to the top of our first roof. And here we see our president, the president of Sunflower Project US, Josephine McEntee. And what she's doing here is harvesting our sunflowers. By harvesting, what we mean is that Josephine pulled it out of the ground, which takes a lot of strength. So Josephine's very strong. And she pulled the stalk out of the ground and you can see on the right side of your screen, it's a root ball. That's what was in the dirt, very sturdy. On the left-hand side, there used to be a sunflower head, but that one has already been taken off and is gonna be used for making paint and harvesting sunflower seeds. Here we see some other team members of Sunflower Project and the Smart Museum of Art. You see Jason Pellis, and again, we see Josephine McEntee and Catherine Fitzgerald. Takes a lot of teamwork in order to harvest our organic mammoth sunflowers. Now we're in the classroom. We're telling all of the students the benefits of mammoth organic sunflowers, about ecology and everything that they can do to help make our planet a better place to live. We're on the grounds now of Sadlowski and all of the students are sitting in front of us, Josephine McEntee, Rita Alvarez and myself, and we're talking to them about how we're going to plant our seeds. We give them each a small dowel rod, which they poke into the ground about an inch deep and then drop the seed in, cover it over, and tamp it down. These plants do not need very much water. They are, um, they rely mostly on the water that we get from rain and they'll just grow and grow and grow. Here we see what I'm doing here is harvesting sunflower seeds. There are hundreds of sunflower seeds on this one head. We're at Studio 93, creating paint from sunflower parts. These are all of our board members, plus Roman Villarreal, and I believe there's another artist there. Roman is a very famous artist. We're on the south side of Chicago. We had a wonderful day in his studio. Here we see Jason Pellis creating paint using linseed oil and our dried out sunflower leaves. Here's Roman again. 
and he's creating a painting with our sunflower paint. All of the objects in this painting was created from different parts of the sunflower plant. And here we see what we did was we accumulated many petals from our sunflower plant. Those are the yellow petals in the box. We put them in the box and Roman is starting to create a painting utilizing the linseed oil and the dried out petals that are in the mortar. And there you see, he's got his paintbrush in hand and he's creating a wonderful painting. So these are some of the materials that you'll need to make your sunflower as part of maybe a class sunflower wall. So you can use crayons, glue stick, a paper plate. If you don't have paper plates, you can just cut a round circle or ask somebody to cut a round circle out of a piece of cardboard for you. And here you'll see that what I'm doing is utilizing the parentheses method to create my petals. And what I do is I draw parentheses around the outside of the plate, and then I cut in between those, uh, the marks that I made. Well, these are some of the sunflowers that are finished products from our sunflower, sunflower plates. And as you can see, you can make them however you would like. They're your sunflowers. You can make them realistic, like perhaps the one in the middle, that one's using triangles, or you can make it a little uh, maybe uh, contemporary and put a face on your sunflower, like on the left. On the right-hand side, the student chose to make veins in the leaves. They're beautiful. Here we see one of our community members showing off our organic mammoth sunflowers. Every season he gets about 15 to 25 seeds from us and he plants these all around his yard. It's a beautiful sight. Some of the benefits of sunflowers are they detoxify the soil, they attract birds, they attract pollinators, and for those of you who are, are not real familiar with what a pollinator is, a pollinator is, it is a bee. Bees do all of our pollination and we would be nowhere if we didn't have bees. Their little legs pick up pollen off of the sunflowers and take them to the other sunflower, drop off that pollen, pick up more, go to the next flower. And that's how they germinate and they create seeds. Some of the things that uh, sunflowers also create are they create edible seeds. They also limit weeds and they are known as hyper accumulators. They're hyper accumulators of cadmium, zinc, nickel, lead, and other common metal pollutants. A hyper accumulator, by accumulator, we mean that they gather, they draw all the, the pollutants from the soil and from the air. This is a beautiful painting. It's hard to believe, but it is a painting. Vincent van Gogh made this painting and it's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Rita, can you refresh my memory, the name of the painting? Sure, Catherine, this is known as the allotment with sunflower. So this, this painting is beautiful. It's very realistic. As you can see, the woman in the picture is probably less than half of the height of the sunflower. So Mammoth Organic Sunflower Plants have been around for many, many years. So if you'd like to learn more about Sunflower Project US or the Smart Museum, please feel free to visit us at www.sunflowerplanet.com, Sunflower Project on Facebook, www.smartmuseum.uchicago.edu, or look for the Smart Museum of Art on Facebook. We really enjoyed our time with you today, and we encourage you to post any pictures or write to us at sunflowerplanet.com or look for or direct message us on Sunflower Project at, on Facebook. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon.